Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with another FC25 video. Of course, you can see the cover. That is the first official leak. There will be another leak slash reveal on Thursday morning, I believe, here. So we'll have a video on Thursday in regards to that. That'll be our background for this video. But it's an FC25 wish list. And of course, it goes without saying, if you want to share what you want in FC25, without knowing, of course, what's coming, or without really thinking too much, put it in the comments, and I'll try and read out some of the best ones in the Thursday video. But, yeah, we are going to just use... I'm going to use FC24 as a guide, because, again, I actually think FC24 could be a good base. They don't seem to think so, but FC24 is actually quite a good base for some of these things that they're doing. We're going to start with the one I have a gripe with the most, and people will probably disagree with this. Evolutions. I have a very large gripe with evolutions. In case you don't know, I run a account where I have my past and present team, and the small issue with it happens to be that, obviously, they do not seem to like you evoing more than one of the player. You have to try and find all these mysterious ways and such. It is just a bit of a mess, and it is a shame, because obviously that's not how it should be. It should not be that difficult to evolve your favourite players. Yes, you will make mistakes. The benefit of hindsight with evos is key, but you shouldn't have to discard an evo. If you have a player that fits the requirements, it doesn't matter if you already have an evo of them. If I want to make 10 Evo Huang He Chans and I want to, you know, give myself that opportunity, then that's something that I should be able to do and not just a case of not getting to because he doesn't fit the requirement. That is my first gripe. My, my second gripe, again, it comes to division rivals and division rivals, not even rewards, just division rivals. I know what they're doing with division rivals. I wouldn't change it. I think changing it's a bad idea. I think that all they have to do is add relegation. Give yourself a little buffer for relegation. Because, let's be real, ain't nobody need to be playing so many Rivals games not to get relegated. But, again, the rewards are fine for what they are. We just need relegation. Because relegation means that people have it easier when it comes to these things. And they'll be able to get their wins. I don't think anything else needs to change. Seven wins is acceptable for a week. It's an average of a win a day if you can do that. Or there's other ways to go about it as well. And then with rivals, this actually correlates quite perfectly. Friendlies. They need to stop being skill-based. Nobody wants to play friendlies and no one wants to have fun in friendlies because it's all skill-based and you kind of have to play with the sweatiest team, the sweatiest tactics, no one really tries to have any fun, and it makes me sad that I have to sweat my friendlies out when it's called friendlies. There should be no matchmaking in friendlies. Sometimes you'll play an easy opponent, sometimes you'll play a harder opponent. That's what all matchmaking in a casual game mode should be. Just like Foot Champs Qualies, sometimes you will play easier opponents, sometimes you'll play harder ones. So I don't know why it is that friendlies is skill-based and why we have to suffer through it. Again, I'm going through a few of these here on the screen, you can't really see it. Foot champs, I think again for the most part you could probably leave. I think the issue is just that yeah, some of the rewards are a little bit interesting. I think I think you need to bring back something in regards to what you can actually get, because I know Initially, you get a bunch of packs, but those packs they don't really mean much as the cycle goes on. Draft, obviously, they just will not touch draft, and it makes me quite sad that they're not going to touch draft. Draft doesn't hit like it used to. Draft has been in the game for, I think this is the 10th year of draft, and we've just not seen any changes since the first one, and it is quite sad. I hope maybe they change it this year, but I doubt it. And then, yeah, gameplay-wise, or game mode-wise, because gameplay-wise might be a separate thing entirely. G 
gamer wise, there isn't really anything. They need to add more co-op incentives, though. I think co-op incentives would be fun for people. I know that not everyone has co-op partners, or not everyone likes playing co-op, but co-op incentives for people that can should be rewarded and should be deserved. Now, gameplay. Again, I this is not indicative, or it's not in spite of what's coming. I think that they need to actually let us be able to have fun with gameplay, because every year for the last few years, it has all gone the same way. There is fun stuff in the game, like finesse shots are fun, and travellers are fun, and yes, maybe they're not supposed to be as fun as they are, but there is no fun when the defensive AI is as good as it is. So either the attacking AI needs to be on par with your defensive AI, and the attackers need to be on par, or you need to tone down the defensive AI, and they won't tone down the defensive AI, because why would they do that? People won't play if they can't defend. It is a proven fact. People are more likely to stop playing because they can't score just as much as they can't win. Like... You need to keep people engaged, you need to give people a chance. So they're not going to turn down the defensive AI. But there needs to be better ways to score and better ways to break them down. Because I'll be real, I know I abuse Aerial Plus and Whipped Cross and all these things. It's just not fun. You just do it because it's there. And the tactics, I'm really hoping that the tactics system is as good as they're suggesting. Because, again, I don't want the meta to be too boring. Obviously, people will still play the meta, and people will still find the meta managers, and the meta players, and the meta tactics, and playstyles, and such. I just want it to be fun. I think that's all we want from this new game, because it's the second year of this FC iteration. The first year is basically a write-off for them at this point, because it's not as good as I think they expected it to be. So they need to really go all in on this second year and make things, you know, enjoyable for people, because that's what we deserve as a community. Obviously, they don't care what we deserve. Andrew Wilson needs his pockets lined. But, yeah, we need to have decent gameplay without a meta that is going to completely destroy the game. Because if the meta is as bad as it is every other year. I think you're just going to see more and more people give up. Some of my friends, they're taking years off or they're giving up entirely. I wouldn't be surprised if more people give up. And it's a shame because, again, FC24, FC25, they're actually not bad games. But, again, you put up with something for so long and it doesn't get any better. You are just going to be inclined to give up. And, anyway, yeah, I think... That is enough from me. Again, any suggestions, I'll read them out in the next one. But until then, thank you and take care.